John, many congratulations. A first Masters 1000 title, and you did it on the final day at Crandon Park. That really must have meant something special after that. Ah, incredible. I mean, I'm sorry. This, this tournament has so much history. Never, ever could have imagined myself playing the last singles match at this historic site and being the winner, being the last winner here at Crandon Park. It's amazing. Uh, this is the best moment of, of my career, for sure. And to do it here, in the United States, where I have always played well, makes it extra special. Talk us a little bit about the match then in a bit of detail. It was always going to be so tough against Sasha. He got off to a great start, but really sort of managed to uh, turn the tables and set to them. Yeah, I did. I think uh, today was, was the hottest day. Um, it was pretty hot, pretty humid. I mean, but we were fortunate all, all the two weeks here. It wasn't Miami can get a lot stickier than it was this past two weeks. So I think both of us were feeling that because it was really hot out there. And, Somewhere in the second set, I picked up a second wind. Um, at the end of the first set, I was exhausted. Or maybe it was the pressure, it was the angst, it was the tension in my body, but I sort of let go of that and was able to uh, really find my uh, second wind and to win this match in, in three sets and finish it off in the fashion that I did is incredible. And where do you take this from here? It had been a bit of a sort of rough spot for the last few months. How can you really use this and, and get a bit of momentum behind you now? Well, yeah, look, I can't rest on my laurels for sure. I mean, look, I'm going to celebrate this moment a little bit, but I have Davis Cup ahead. I'm playing Houston after that. I have to keep my foot on the gas. A lot of times you can see a, someone get have a great result and they sort of, you know, maybe take things for granted, but I'm not going to do that. I, I, now that I've won a tournament like this, I know what I'm capable of. I have to keep pushing forward, keep doing the right things, keep taking care of myself. My career has a shelf life. I know that. I won't be able to play tennis forever, so I want to keep doing the right thing so I can play as long as I can.